The reading for the 13th Sunday after Pentecost is from Jeremiah chapter 15. O Lord, you know, remember me and visit me, and bring down retribution for me on my persecutors. In your forbearance do not take me away. Know that on your account I suffer insult. Your words were found, and I ate them, and your words became to me a joy and a delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, the God of hosts. I did not sit in the company of merrymakers, nor did I rejoice. Under the weight of your hand I sat alone, for you had filled me with indignation. Why is my pain unceasing, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? Truly you are to me like a deceitful brook, like waters that fail. Therefore thus says the Lord, if you turn your back, I will take you back, and you shall stand before me. If you utter what is precious and not what is worthless, you shall serve as my mouth. It is they who will turn to you, not you who will turn to them. And I will make you to this people a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail over you. For I am with you to save you and deliver you, says the Lord. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked and redeem you from the grasp of the ruthless. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have lived with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Trust me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your steadfast love is before my eyes. I have walked faithfully with you. I have not sat with the worthless, nor do I consort with the deceitful. I have hated the company of evildoers. I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands with the innocent, O Lord, that I may go in procession round your altar. Singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and recounting all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Second reading today is from Romans chapter 12. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 